sun rising up. You probably won't see too much sunlight if those clouds kind of just stick around. But temperatures out there in Macon is sitting at a warm 75 degrees. We're not seeing any fog out there on the radar either. Look, that's a good thing because we can actually see what's in the front of us. And that combined with the rain that we could have gotten last or that we did see last night could have caused for more of a dangerous situation on your way out to uh, the school and to work this morning. But the rain that we saw anywhere between two and four inches in some of our eastern counties, our western counties mostly dry yesterday night and we're looking to see if there's any rain out there on the radar. Now we got some rain to the east and we even got some rain to the west as well, but none in central Georgia just yet. We'll be tracking those with you right now actually moving into 10 o'clock. We kind of see these stripes of green on the screen. It looks like a lot of light rain does make its way towards central Georgia. So if you are headed out out there outside and to go um, take those kids to school and on to work. You might want to grab that rain jacket on your way out the door. Maybe even some rain boots if you want. Move into 12 o'clock, similar situation. A little bit less of that light rain and less coverage as well. Move into four on your way to pick up those kids from school and on your way from football practice. It's like we want to see some isolated storms move in from the south headed east. Where meanwhile, your northern county is going to see much more of a widespread event of light showers and rain moving into Monday night. Tuesday, it looks like we're going to see a lot less rain starting us out overnight early into Tuesday morning could see some showers here and there but overall not a lot of rain and overall into Tuesday we get back into this typical summertime pattern but we won't see as much rain we see little dots here and there moving to two o'clock even into five o'clock but as we get into nine o'clock we're not seeing those overnight showers like we've been seeing over the past couple of days so we will take that temperatures are currently in the mid 70s 75 in Macon 76 in Gordon 75 in Wrightsville and 75 degrees in Dublin two point temperatures also in the mid 70s so really muggy sticky and very heavy outside right now and here's our school bus forecast we could see some rain within the next couple of hours we'll be tracking that with you and temperatures on your way out the door probably in the mid 70s by now on your way home though we'll be looking at the lower 80s if we get to that and that temperature is really highly dependent on where we see rain with more cloud cover more rain we won't see those temperatures in the 80s but if one area has not seen rain and won't see rain all day today we could get into the mid 80s for some places, but the average high is 92, and I don't think we're going to break that anywhere in central Georgia. So a relatively, now I want to say cooler day, but not as warm as our typical summertime patterns. Tonight will drop to 70 degrees, warm night, and rain chances are possible as we head into the evening hours. As far as any tropical development out there, we do have a 20% chance that this tropical wave that's headed off the western coast of Africa into the Atlantic Ocean could form into something. That's, that's over the next five days as we head over the next week next week or so it takes time for this system to make its way across the atlantic ocean could develop into something a little bit more stronger here's our seven day forecast temperature highs are going to be in the mid 80s as we head into the end of the work week rain chances ramp up, uh, ramp up thursday as the cold front comes through